welcome Darren Karp. And joining me today is Bravo star, author, entrepreneur, and all around just good dude. I've got Craig Conover over on the line. How you doing, Craigie? Good to see you. Good. What's up, Darren? I, it's been a little while. I'm excited to be here. It Catch has up. been a while. Hopefully, you know, now that we're kind of getting back to normal, I'll see you more often. But you have a lot going on, Craig. I've seen you on three Bravo shows this, this last <laughs> year. Be honest, at a Southern Charm, Winter House, and your cameos on Summer House, although you're kind of becoming a regular, what's your favorite to appear on? Uh, well, I'm going to have to stick with Southern Charm at this point. Um, it it <laughs> fluctuates, you know, with, with whatever we're filming at the time, we like the other ones better. But um, yeah, yeah I, I think I've swerved back to being a Southern Charm person now. You're, I mean, you literally are on like the tourism board for Charleston. I, I feel like you're personally <laughs> responsible for increasing the population there by a lot. So I could see why Southern Charm would be your favorite. But right now, Summer House is currently on air. And we've been able to witness the blossoming of your beautiful relationship with Paige DeSorbo that I am standing from afar, I got to say. You two have been going strong kind of ever since, ever since Winter House, really. How is your relationship with Paige today? Have you taken that next step? What does it look like for you? <clears throat> no, thank you, Darren. It's been a lot of fun. You know, we did it in kind of a non-traditional approach, which, you know, we were hoping, you know, hopefully people will see the positivity and that you don't have to follow the footsteps of, you know, exactly how everyone else does stuff. But um, we've been, you know, official for a while now, a little over six months, and uh, we're just enjoying every day. Last night, we we had a big, I'm in New York, uh, I'm pretty much in New York every week now, but I, uh, we ordered a big old feast and just like sat around and ate food and stuff because we all, after filming Winter House, we basically were together every day for a month, which we loved. Um, but now going back into the real world, you know, we have to face that long distance thing, which, you know, was fun for a while, but now we're trying to see, you know, figure out ways to cut those uh that time apart down so i think she's going to spend a few months um this spring in charleston and you know i'll be up here this summer so it uh you know we're figuring it out good i'm glad to see it's working is it weird re kind of watching back the beginning stages of your relationship with Paige and seeing how she's been with andrea and the conversations that have kind of been happening is it weird for you I mean, I haven't watched my shows in a long, long time, like several years. Um, but yeah, I'm sure it would have been. I think, you know, I was a little bummed that, you know, we basically they got to watch our first date on camera and they cut it, which was just real disappointing. And basically, they just said it was too obvious that we loved each other even back then. So I think <laughs> like I think our communication was so strong this summer where you know, I, you, look, you can't have your cake and eat it too. For me, I had just gotten out of kind of a toxic relationship and I needed to find myself again. The thing is, is that Paige and I, I mean, from that first time we saw each other three years ago at Summer House, I think we both kind of, you know, instantly had a connection. And so as I had those, those months of being single, you know, we couldn't help but hang out. Um, but, you know, I didn't want to commit. I didn't want to be exclusive just yet. And so obviously I can't, you know, I wouldn't be able to get upset with her for flirting with other guys. So I think in the end it worked. Um, it just, you know, it got to a point where I didn't want to see anyone else. She didn't want to see anyone else. And we made it official. I mean, that's how it kind of should happen as opposed to being forced. But I got to ask. Craig, where are you right now? You're in a sea of clothes that don't look like your own, and I just need you to stay there <laughs> the hell you are right now. Yeah, I actually am in Paige's closet right now, and uh, one step forward we're taking, we did just build a build, a big closet at my house, um, which I, I have a feeling will be will turn into Paige's closet uh, very soon. <laughs> yeah, what made you think that? I mean, I'm, has she impacted your fashion choices at all? Has she made you less wear, less wear less seersucker like what is the influence that she's had on you here i think i'm a little less preppy because i just had a pink collared shirt on and i was like should i wear this or just a black t-shirt she's like a black t-shirt i was like okay so definitely wear a lot more black now um i think new yeah. york fashion has been brought yeah. into my life because you know i really love the charleston preppiness but you know kind of the streetwear of new york city I, I'm, I'm trying to embrace you will embrace it fully. It is so much easier wearing an all black uniform, but I digress. The good thing about you and Paige is that there's really 
considering there could be a lot of drama, there actually isn't a lot of drama with you guys. You guys are really like the strong couple in the house. There has been a lot of drama on Summer House that surrounds your Southern Charm co-star and best bud, Austin. Now, re-watching the season, have you and Austin kind of had any conversations about the love triangle between him, Sierra, and Lindsay? And what does he say about it? So you'll get to see a lot of this play out on Southern Charm, which is so wild that Bravo is this multiverse of <laughs> shows now. Um, look, his his behavior last summer caused a huge rift in our relationship. So Austin and I actually, we, we didn't talk for like two or three months after he was at Summer House for various reasons. Um, and so you'll get to see how we kind of make up and, and mend those differences on Southern Charm. But, you know, I think, you know, I had my own issues with Austin, but then when I found out what he did to Sierra, I was just like, just so disappointed. And, um, you know, it's, he's just, I love Austin to death. And, and the, the, the sucky part is, is he spent eight months really getting better and really improving. So now to obviously relive it stuff. But in that time, I was just like, you're the most self-destructive person I've ever met. Like you, you, ha you know, you have this good heart and everyone... <laughs> likes you and then you go in and you do stuff like this and you know to him he really sometimes he doesn't get social cues and he he was like look me and Sierra weren't together making out fun I, I wasn't really thinking about it uh, you know it's not for me I just want to shake him sometimes because I'm like you knew how much she liked you Lindsay only invited you to the house to get back at Sierra everyone in the world knew that and you gave her exactly what she wanted so yeah I was not and then obviously him and Paige fighting. I mean, they're going to be brother and sister, you know, as, you know, my best friend and girlfriend relationship. But yeah, I, I, I think if you asked him which show he's going to stick to for now on, I think he's going to pick Southern Charm too. <laughs>